I'm James Moore with Ideal Calibrations, and today we're going to be looking at the RKI Instruments GX3R four gas detector. This is a great little four gas unit. It's small, it's light, goes easily on a helmet in the breathing zone, which is nice. So we start out, we got our certificates in here, inspection and calibration. A lot of this is in Japanese, but it's got your calibration certificates in there. If we open up the bag here, we've got the unit and a wrist strap that you can attach if you'd like to. If you want to, it attaches on at this point. There's also a charger in here that is comically hard to get out of the box, but I'll make an attempt without destroying it here. There we are. Oh, perfect, you can see it there with the RKI connector here that goes on the back at the top. And the last thing in the box is a calibration adapter that comes with it. This is what you're going to use when you're going to either bump or calibrate the detector. And we'll go over that in another video. In addition to the monitor and the accessories for it, you're going to want to make sure that you have a regulator, a 0.25 liter per minute regulator. RKI used to use a 0.5 liter per minute, but now they moved to a 0.25, which is going to use a little less gas for you, as well as a cylinder of calibration gas that is in the RKI blend. RKI uses 25 parts per million hydrogen sulfide, 50 parts per million carbon monoxide, 50% LEL methane, and 12% oxygen. So, to get this one started, we're just going to power it up. Do so, press and hold the right button until it beeps, and let go of the button. As the monitor starts up, it's going to go through some different screens. Uh, time, till, time till next cal, the date and time, battery life. You can see this is low because we've just started up. So the first thing you'll want to do is take the monitor and put it on a charger and make sure that it gets charged overnight before you use it. After that, it goes through the alarm limits. This is the low alarm the high alarm, and then RKI has a third alarm value, the very top of the range. This is your STEL, your 15 minute average, your TWA alarm, the eight hour, and now you're in normal reading mode. So this monitor is pretty easy to work with. If you wanna go through the menus, you use the button on the right, it shows you your peak values, STEL, TWA, and anything else. If you wanna change the gas mode for the hydrocarbon sensor to something other than methane, you can do so there. And if we can just cycle back to the starting point. If you want to zero the unit, you just press and hold this button and you're ready to go. To get into the options menu, let's say you want to set the time to your time zone. Uh, maybe you're not on California time. All you do is you press and hold air and then press the power button. Let go of the air button. And now you're in the setup menu. So from here, you can do a bump test that'll be recorded on the unit if you'd like. And if we cycle through all these, using the left button in this case, you can see you can do a calibration, which will do your zero and cal. You can change your alarm set points, and you got a host of other menus here. The most important one being when you get the unit is you're going to want to change the date and time, which you can find on this menu here. Okay, if, as you go through, the last option will be start, press mode power, and it'll start up your monitor just like that. If you have any questions about your unit or how to use it, please feel free to give us a call here. Our number is 734-956-0539, or you can visit us on the web at www.idealcalibrations.com. Thanks and stay safe out there.